hi welcome to my youtube channel just for math in this video we'll be talking about differentiation from first principle i'll start by describing the steps involved when differentiating a function from first principle then we solve an example and finally we end the video just to keep it simple and short all right let's begin given the function f of x given a function y which is equal to f of x which means the given function is a function of x we intend to differentiate this function differentiates from first principle all right now to do this we start we take the first step step one you add a small change in y to the y axis and a small change in x to the x axis now note that the small change in y will be written as delta y while the small change in x will be written as delta x okay now let's add the small change in y to the y axis y plus delta y and the small change in x to the x axis f of x plus delta x so here's the first step when differentiating any function from first principle this is what you do first secondly step two okay before you carry out step two in most cases you have to simplify the expression at the right side of the equation sometimes you have to expand sometimes you have to apply some trigonometrical identity you know to simplify that expression so when you once you're done with that the second step is to subtract y from both sides of the equation and when you do that you have this as delta y equal to or let me write this step down before we take that step the step is to subtract y from both sides right subtract y from both sides that is step, step two then we have delta y equal to f of x plus delta x minus y now don't forget that y is equal to f of x from the beginning right so when you substitute y for f of x we have delta y equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x all right then you perform some further simplification and next step which is step three is to divide through divide both sides divide both sides by delta x okay so we have delta y over delta x equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x all right finally step four you take the limit as delta x tends to zero okay of delta y delta x 
and when you take this limit this function delta y over delta x returns to dy dx all right as delta x tends to zero delta y delta x tends to dy dx and finally you when you take this step then you arrive at your results okay so these are the steps involved when differentiating a given function from first principle why don't you take an example where we can apply these steps let's do that right away now let's solve an example so determine f prime of x from first principles if it is given that f of x is equal to 3x squared let's solve this together solution the given function f of x is equal to 3x squared okay let's make use of y y equal to 3x squared now step one we are adding a small change in y to y axis y plus delta y and a small change in x to the x axis 3x plus delta x all squared mind you the coefficient of x and the power of x should affect the sum x plus delta x as you can see the 3 is outside the bracket the squared affects the sum so that is how you should always have it you have to take note of that the next step is to simplify the expression at the right hand side of the equation so you have y plus delta y equal to we simplify by expanding x plus delta x times x plus delta x so we have y plus delta y equal to 3 when we expand this expression in the square bracket we should have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x all squared opening the square bracket then we have y plus delta y equal to 3x squared plus 6x delta x plus 3 delta x all squared all right step 2 is to subtract y from both sides when we subtract y from both sides we'll be having delta y equal to 3x squared plus 6x delta x plus 3 delta x squared okay oh, minus y so next step is to substitute the value of y don't forget y is equal to 3x squared okay that is the value of y right and then we'll have delta y equal to 3x squared plus 6x delta x plus 3 delta x all squared minus 3x squared now 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0 so this becomes delta y equal to 6x delta x plus 3 delta x all squared so the next step to take is to divide through by delta x then we we'll have delta y over delta x equal to 6x delta x over delta x plus 3 delta x squared over delta x so that delta x you cancel these and this you cancel one of these delta x therefore we'll be having delta y over delta x we 
which is equal to 6x plus 3 delta x. So finally, we'll take the limit as delta x tends to 0 of delta y delta x. And here, when we take this limit, delta y delta x, we tends to divide the x, right? And 3 times 0 is, of course, 0. So we'll be left with 6x. Therefore, dy dx will be equal to 6x. And this is the solution to the given question. Okay, so far so good. We've been able to apply the steps described here from step, step 1 all through step 4. And we arrive at the answer when you differentiate 3x squared of course your answer should be 6x all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel of course it is entirely free to hit on the subscribe button also click on the notification button to get notified whenever we post new content thank you guys for watching and thank you for all the views comments likes and share i love to see more of that have a wonderful day guys goodbye